Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are fine and doing well at home. Okay? Yep, and I'm praying for your good health and your family. Right? And now we are continuing with our chapter number 3. Yes. And today we are going to discuss the topic production of silk. Till now we have discussed about the life history of silk form. Okay? And we know at which stage the silk fiber we can obtain. Okay, do you know at which stage? Yes, when they will spun cocoon around their body. Okay, that cocoon is used to make a silk fiber. Okay, now the first stage is the rearing of silk worm to obtain cocoon. Okay, so how we can obtain the cocoon? Okay, that we will discuss now. First, the female at silk moth will lay eggs. Okay, and that eggs are collected on a strip of cloth or strip of paper, and then they will sold to the silk farmer. Okay, now the silk farmer they will rear the eggs. They will do. They will maintain the suitable temperature suitable humidity and the hygiene and after some days the silk worm they will come out from that eggs okay and now they are hungry okay so what they will do they will give or they will feed them with the mulberry leaves okay now day and night that silk worm eat that mulberry leaves okay and they will grow after 25 to 30 days the silkworm stop eating and get ready to spun cocoon around their body okay now they will start spinning that silky cocoon on their body and they will cover the whole body within a two or three days okay now the second point is the processing of cocoon to obtain silk fiber okay so now we have cocoon now we have to do some process by which we can obtain that silky cover from that silk worm okay so that is the process first of all that all cocoons are collected at one place then they will put in a hot water so what happened as they will go in hot water that cocoon will spread out and the fiber will be come out understand that all the fiber will be separate out clear a long silk fiber obtained by the unwinding threads of cocoon and the process of obtaining the silk fiber from the cocoon which is known as reeling of silk and the railing of silk is done by with the special kind of machine and this machine will unwind the silk fiber from the cocoon now we will see the third point the converting of silk fiber or we can say silk yarn into the silk cloth it is done by that machine that we works that we have learned in six standard by the woman we can make a cloth from the fiber now this silk fiber is ready to make a cloth like a sari and dress material and which is done by looms there are varieties of silk moth they look totally different from each other there are some varieties of silk for example mulberry silk tassar silk moga silk kosha silk Silk. so these are the variety we can obtain by the different kind of silk moths okay and now we will see the types of silk yes there are two types first is a natural and second is an artificial and we know how we can obtain the natural silk we have learned about how we obtain this natural silk okay and this is the process now 
about second that is artificial silk yes this artificial silk is obtained from the wood pulp okay that wood pulp from the trees and the main part of that wood pulp is what cellulose by processing on that we can obtain the same thread like a silk and this was the types of silk i hope you all will have understand about this chapter number 3 and all the processes of wool and silk clear